Hello friends. Today we are going to learn about incorrect training model. Incorrect training model is basically designed by Marshall and Bruce Joy. This is the original group. Today I am going to just explain about the syntax of the model. If you want to understand overall model, you need to refer this book, Marshall and Bruce Joy's Models of Teaching. I am going to just explain about the syntax of this model. So the model, as the name indicates, like inquiry training. So when you want to give the training to the students about inquiry, inquiry is about the asking the question to the to get the information. If you want to train your students to ask the questions to get the knowledge, you can implement this model, and students can be trained. They can they will get the experience to asking the question and getting the knowledge. So, what are the phases? So, there are the five phases of this model. You can say five steps of this model. Now, in the first phase, is the confrontation of the problem with the students. So, in this first phase, teacher will present a problem to the students. So, problem should be a complicated one, so student will not get the answer easily of that particular problem. So find out a problem from the textbook from related to any subject and try to present it in front of the students. So that problem should be complicated. So uh, it will be difficult to find out the answers of it. This is the first phase. So after presenting the problem to the students, in the second phase, now it's students turn to ask the questions. Now questions should be asked in such a way that the answer of this question will be only yes or no. So student will ask the question to find out the reasons behind that problem and teacher will answer yes or no. So they cannot ask the other question that, that is not dealing with the yes or no questions. So for example, in first phase, teacher presents uh, the problem of suppose there are two plants uh, in the same home and one plant is not, it growing and another is not growing. So if this is the problem, so why the other plant is not growing? This is the problem. Now students need to ask the questions about the inquiry that why the plant, the second plant is not growing. And teacher, uh, teacher will give the answer in yes or no form. Like student will ask whether they are uh, water regularly, whether sunlight, sunlight is reachable to that particular plant. Such kind of questions can be asked and teacher will reply only yes or no. If the question is not in yes or no form, teacher will not reply. Teacher will say reframe your question. So this is second phase. In th third phase, now teacher has given the answer yes and no. Student have to make the record of the questions which are answered yes, affirmative by the teacher. Now all yes answers should be collected and student, student need to get a particular conclusion that what is the exact reason of the not growing that particular plant. So in this phase, students come to know the real reason, the cause behind the particular problem. So they need to make a particular list of the reasons and they need to formulate the whole situation and what and they need to explain whole situation why that particular problem was occurred. So this is about getting the answer of it. In the next phase, phase four, teachers are expected to discuss with the students about the whole phenomena, about the whole problem, what was actually happened. So in this phase, teacher will teacher will elaborate the right right causes, the right this right uh, problems behind that problems, and she will take the uh, help of the students answering and the questions even during that period. So students theory and and the actual phenomena or actual reasons will be mixed up and will be explained over here. So teacher's role will be coming here only about the explaining and the concluding the right, right decisions, right causes of the problem. And here the concept will be completed. In last phase, teachers are expected to analyze the strategy, means how students ask the question and how it should be. So teacher will quote some questions which are good, which were good and which were not good. So in that case, teacher will train them about the inquiry, about the inquiry. So here in this phase, teacher are expected to guide the student what, the, what are the proper questions that will leading to the right answers. 
so that is basically uh, expected in this phase so after this phase the lesson will be over so in this lesson student will not only get the answer of the questions that particular problem but they will learn how to ask the question and actually uh, asking the question is the natural way to learn something because if you see the children the kid they ask too many questions to the parents to the teachers and they try to satisfy their curiosity so that particular instinct of asking the questions has been trained has been nurtured in this models of teaching and this is very well designed model if you want to use in a classroom the key is to formation of a particular problem the problem should be complicated so they will uh, give the opportunity that ask more and more question regarding this so i think you should need it to use it and if you want to use it and read all the things refer this book of models of teaching by marsha will and bruce joyce so that will be helpful you to train your student to do the inquiry